Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. You're looking at, count them, 19 nasty, filthy, possibly bedbug-infested mattresses dumped outside the Teen Challenge thrift store in Concord. Over on Pine Street, what appears to be the conscience of an entire home, minus the kitchen sink dumped here. Concord is experiencing what a lot of other cities are having a problem with, people disposing of their debris on city streets. Most people think that it's the city's job to clean up all this stuff, like pillowcases left on the sidewalk. See this stuff? It was left on the sidewalk by a homeowner. She told me it was free for anyone who would take it. I told her she can get fined for doing that. So she went back outside and moved it back onto her property. And yes, the city will remove illegally dumped items, but if they find the culprit, they will send them the bill. Which brings me back to the Teen Challenge thrift store. They have a sign that reads, we do not accept mattresses, among other things. I spoke to Daniel, the thrift store manager. But it's a thrift store. Yeah, but you know, we're, we're not a uh, mattress store. Those aren't brand new. They're just dirty, filthy mattresses. And you know, we got a sign on our fence that says no dumping. And you know, if we're not here and you leave it, it's a dump. It cost the thrift store approximately $30 per mattress to dispose of them. All these you see back here are what other people have dumped. All that you see back here are what other people have dumped. And that amounts to another 20 more illegally dumped mattresses. Yeah, we're a nonprofit organization. You know, we help people who struggle with drugs, alcohol, gangs, homeless, violence for free. You know what I mean? They saved my life, and this takes money away from, you know what I mean, lives being changed because people choose to dump it. And Concord, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.